Madam Chair, if I may, I'd like to make a, a new motion in relation to the same subject while we're here. I would like to discard this motion that Mr. Jones made and merely contact the planning board and tell them that the budget committee has deep concerns about them hiring a new planner in view of the fact it's been turned around by the voters three times. Hold on. Could you add to that, Mike, what Jerry said about perhaps getting a part-time from the... Uh, well, that's a policy question, though. That's a policy okay, question. Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll second I, that motion. I so think we, I'll we have deep concerns. What, do you, what are you suggesting as an action for the deep concerns? That they hire and a plan and, 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 and instead they hire a, a, a person from the RPC or a temporary until we put it before the voters. Oh, is again? I'll add all that on there, but I didn't want to make it lengthy because I don't have it memorized. Well, I can't remember what I said six minutes ago. I think this one's significant enough that we get the wording clear before we vote on it. Okay. Uh, I'll try it again. Uh, I, the motion would be I move that we send the planning board a letter stating that the budget committee has deep concerns about them hiring a full-time full planner in view of the voters turning it down three times in a row and instead suggest that hold they... Hold on, hold on just a minute. This would be an advisory letter, Mike, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the previous motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And instead uh, suggest having a temporary planner or borrowing one from the RPC, which I think they have to pay for, mm -hmm. and uh, until the end of the year, and also put a warrant article, put together a warrant article for the voters to vote on in March of 2015. For a full-time planner. Yeah. For a full-time planner, if they so choose. Okay, I'll second that motion. Why don't you read it back to me, Joan, said if I can sound like I made any sense, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Send a letter to the planning board stating that the budget committee has deep concerns about their hiring of a full-time planner. <coughs> Uh, due to the fact that the voters turned this down three times and instead suggest a temporary planner or the borrowing of a planner from the uh, temporary planner from the RPC a warrant article for the voters to vote on in March of 2015 for a full-time planner if they so desire they can do that yeah, that's close. That's really mm -hmm. close. Okay. Would you just want to add and invite them to come here to a meeting if they would like? Well, we can just do that. On the, the chairman can just can do that. I can just ask them to come mm -hmm. to the main meeting. Mm -hmm. However, that may not. This process, I, I believe, and maybe you can shed some light on it, Jim. Um, this process to hire a planner is ongoing right now, as, as to my understanding. I'm not sure of that. I will check on it tomorrow. Okay. I mean, I could sure. be wrong, but I asked Fred. That's a fact. Now, at the meeting, they decided mm -hmm. that's when they brought the philosophy thing, that which I thought was funny. Mm -hmm. We still can go on record, though. Mm -hmm. We still can go on record, I think. I think got an advertisement in the yeah. Boston Herald. I mean, I guess the letter can be put out in a couple of days, and we can still ask them to come in and talk to yeah. us. I think it ought to be expeditious, but they don't... The, the bottom line is, regardless of how you guys feel about that, they can totally ignore us. There's nothing to stop that. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, well, there is. I mean, that's well, if you can totally ignore the voters, then anybody can be ignored at any time. No, well, no. I, I, let's I, I not, mean, let's not go in that the direction. The budget committee has no authority over the planning board. And neither do the voters. The I mean, selectmen won't be hiring anyway. It'd be the planning board. Just yeah, no, but the as voters Jerry, have no power either. As Jerry said, this is a complicated no, matter. It's very simple. We'll All right, it has to do with policy great. and we're doing that, but it also has to do with money and funding, and that's under our umbrella. So yeah, it is a little twisted, but we're not not one of the players because you can choose not to fund it, and that may not be the right thing to do. So let's put this through a vote. 
discussion? I think it's really expressing our sentiment this morning. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to tell them how we feel. At least it expresses, I think, my sentiment. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a vote on it. And, and, and that's all. And it's an advisory situation. It's, it's not threatening. There's no oath of God or any of that stuff in there for Mr. Ladd. I take my oath. <laughs> I'm not going to zero them out. Okay, discussion. I mean, Further discussion. <laughs> oh, and the fun just keeps on coming. I'm all set. <laughs> uh, I agree with you, Jerry. And Mike. Okay. I'm in favor of it. I, I, well, I'm waiting for are we done with the discussion? The motion on the Is there anybody else who has something they want to discuss? Richard. Richard. You just made a statement, did you? said that the Budget Committee should not be setting policy for the Planning Board, and yet you were suggesting in this letter that we suggest to them that they go out and hire a part-time planner. That's correct. There's nothing wrong with giving advice. I've get gone into the selectmen and told you're them no a couple you're, of times. You're, hey, you're, me. you're trying to dictate their policy. No, we're not. No. Well, maybe they oh. have a policy of hiring a full-time planner. You're saying, go hire a part-time one. It's not, they can choose what to do, whatever they want to do, Richard. I'm not debating that with you. I'm just saying, if I send you a Christmas card, that doesn't mean that you even subscribe to believe in the Christianity. I'm just being friendly. <laughs> You're sending along. Okay. We're back to the deity again. We're going to go discuss. There the we go. go. God bless us all. <laughs> That's offensive to two men. Sorry. But it's strictly a... A letter of concern. It ha doesn't mean you have to pay attention to it at all. Use it for toilet paper. <laughs> well, okay. Come on. So, any other As discussion? we deteriorate here. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's, 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 it's <laughs> 10 o'clock, guys. Oops. You had your chance to speak. Here we don't let others well, speak. I'm not trying to cut right. anybody off other than the fact okay. that they closed down at 10 o'clock. It's well, late. Is it 10 or 11? It's late. We've given this subject. Way too much time to. Yeah, let's take a vote. It's time Everybody's to done talking about it. No, not everyone's done talking because some haven't had an opportunity to talk yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh God. <laughs> Are you going around the table like Richard suggested, or? Is there anybody else that has anything left to say on this subject? Yes, I do. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to give you five minutes max. <laughs> no, I'm not giving Thank you that. Thank you. <laughs> 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 so With all due consideration. This uh, is an advisory motion okay. that Mr. Pierce has put out. And substantively, it's no different than the one that was just put out, which was also advisory. However, it had a different tone. Yeah. Oh, gee, yeah, we have to be careful. When those who would veto the voter, we must be gentle. No, the vote is passed. The vote is no, the vote is, the vote is voted yeah. no. We, vo we voted Excuse no. We've only had 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. The vote is voted, voted no. Well, no, no, don't, don't remove the question. Are you ready to call for a vote? Three years in a row they voted no. We're sitting, or at least some of us are sitting here saying, we don't give a damn what the voters said. Well, I'll support this motion because it's substantially giving the same advice that I was uh, suggesting that we give. Okay. But I must say, it is sad that anyone on this board would support the vetoing of the voter. I, moved the I, I, I just want to say I take offense that you That's say... You should no, 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 no. I, I take offense that you say that I don't care what the voters said. Did I say anything about you personally? No, no, I did you not. said they were on the board. Okay. I was disappointed that uh, anyone right. on the board. I take I'd offense like to that. I'd move the question, okay. please. Okay. I did. Nobody's listening. There we go. <laughs> All right. Vote to move the question. Second. Oh, I second them. Did somebody second them? All those in favor of moving it? it? Okay. Amen. All right. Take a vote on this. You mean me? I was opposed. Original question. You're opposed to moving the question? Oh, moving the question? No, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Almost got you. Jim, I'm on your side. Yeah. 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 Can you start with Simon Says? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. All those in favor of Michael Pierce's motion. And opposed. Keep your hands up. I'm not opposed. I'm in favor. Okay. So it's four. So we have four. Four mm -hmm. opposed. So motion passes. I will write the letter and see if we can't get the planning board to join us in the next meeting.